I think Sundance is about the really about the independent film, and uh, and uh, uh, my lawyer was Redford's lawyer and um, Gary Hendler when they first started Sundance. Hendler always wanted me to have a career like Redford. <laughs> And I, I told him I couldn't do that. You know, he said you should do f four for the studio and one for yourself. And I said, no, I, I'm doing what I want to do now. Yeah. It was a little hard on Gary. But when they started this, the whole concept was to bring in the young filmmaker, not just necessarily the commercial film, but bring in the controversial, uh, very unique film, and, and and have a place for it to be seen. Yeah. So, I was 28 years old. I was resisting the draft myself. Uh, I think it was up in Minnesota. I've been trying to figure out. It was just a saw where I was. Where you were. Yeah, I know. It. Sometime I was in San Francisco in '68, because I didn't miss that for sure. Uh, <laughs> that was a summer in love, you know. I wasn't gonna miss that. But uh, I, I remember thinking, uh, how come we didn't know? about everybody going down to the, to the uh, convention. And uh, who were these guys that were our leaders all of a sudden? We, we had never, but it didn't matter. I mean, we were all after the same common thing, which was to resist this war that we felt was just totally uh, no justification for it at all. I mean, General Abrams at the time used to put up dominoes on the map. And we'd be pretty stoned watching the TV, trying to figure out what we were going to do that day about the draft. And he'd knock over a domino, and it'd go all through China and Southeast Asia. It'd just crank us up. <laughs> we were fighting over dominoes, man. That's what it is.